What's up everybody, Drifty here from Driftlet Gaming, and we're gonna work on Farina right now. This is the collab project I'm working with Noob KX, and this is, I guess this is his baby. He's got a really, really elaborate storyline, and uh, lots of time and effort has been put into preparations for this game, so uh, I, I'm really excited to help him uh, with this project. So what we're going to be doing here is probably just, you know, touching up some uh, some aspects of the database and adding some files and replacing some things and getting rid of a lot of the default starting stuff. Because as I was saying in one of my previous videos, uh, everybody has their strengths and Noob KX has got a lot of uh, strengths when it comes to like the art aspect. Uh, and he's definitely better than I am at creating like maps and artwork and designing that sort of thing. Uh, but I think I could contribute contribute a lot to uh, making the gameplay work the way that he has it intended. So basically this is going to be a, a really simple mechanic. It's a rock, paper, scissors type thing. And you're going to have red, green, and blue elements. Uh, basically like fire, earth, and water. So fire would beat earth, earth would beat water, water would beat fire. Really simple, and I think that's the right approach to go for a game like this. Um, I think the most popular uh, game that's made that uh, simple rock, paper, scissors uh, feature work is Pokemon. Because it started off as like that, and it's just been expanded over the decades. So the first thing I want to do is change the icon set. So we've got this default icon set, which I'm not a fan of. I really don't like MV's built-in icon set. It's so bland. So if you're looking for an icon set, you can go to yanfly.mo. He's got some really good resources. And uh, that's where I go to get like the base icon set. And then I just change it using Yanfly's icon generator. I really just can't say enough good things about Yanfly. I'm sure most of you already know who I'm talking about. So let's go ahead and look into the icon set for Dungeons of Driftwood. That would be under system, icon set.png. And I'm just going to give him the one that I built. Like, this is Yanfly's icon set that I've expanded on to work for my game, but we're obviously not going to use all of the icons in, uh, in Farina, but we're going to use some of them, and it's a good idea to have more than you need than less than you need. Let's go ahead and import that. IMG system. And all you have to do to get this one is start a new project, so I'm not worried about overriding this. We're going to go ahead and uh, copy and replace. There we go. So if we hit save and we go to the menu, we should have all of the icons replaced. And we do. Excellent. You can see it looks much better. Way more choices with this icon set. And then a large majority is Yan flies, um, but there's a good section that all of this is stuff I've created. And then this is assets from the VXAs <clears throat> that have been upscaled to work uh, 32 by 32, I believe. All right. So the first thing I've changed, I haven't done much uh, off camera. I kind of want to document. Uh, speaking of document, I do need to get uh, patch notes set up for this so he knows what I've changed. Let's create a new one. Uh, let's just go ahead and save this as, I guess here is fine. We're going to call this uh, Farina patch notes dot txt. Okay. So I've replaced icon set dot png. I guess it, it's not cap sensitive, but we'll just go with that anyway. Uh, this is in directory img slash system. All 
updated MP costs or skills. Having do uh, having made one test run of the game, it's a uh, it's it's pre alpha, right? So it's not set up right yet. So we've reduced the cost from fifty to ten. Uh, also want to add some plugins, but we'll probably do that later because I want to fix up what's here and before we start adding new stuff. Starting off, we're going to get rid of these uh, items, but we're going to want similar items, but we're just going to customize. <clears throat> now, there's one thing that uh, New KX specified that he wanted to have as a mechanic in the game, and I really like the idea of it. Uh, it's where uh, if you're a fire element, and the player's going to be able to pick what element they want, then you cannot heal other elements. Uh, you can only heal fire element. Uh, and if you're like water element, you can't heal the other elements. You can only heal other water elements. But it wouldn't be a great idea to specify your whole team as one element because you're going to have to encounter a multitude of uh, enemy setups. So if you're all water, then if you encounter a boss that's, you know, all earth, which, you know, red and green, then you're just going to get smashed because the uh, <laughs> odds are going to be stacked against you. You're hitting them for half damage, they're hitting you for double damage. How I'm going to be doing uh, these little updates is going to be really short. It's just going to be like 15 minutes of some of the changes and little things, ideas. Uh, and I do have permission to. Uh, talk about this game. Uh, New KX did give me permission to, uh, you know, post anything about this, about this project. Restores, uh, we'll say 200 HP. And I think this is a, a good change of pace, uh, looking at other projects every now and then. I sort of get like stuck into one project. And some of the times I'll have ideas that I want to put in. And I'm like, oh, that's a great idea. But then the project can get too convoluted. So sometimes when you narrow your scope a little bit, you make the game better in the end. Because there's this thing called uh, analysis overload. And basically what that is, is when you give the your players too many options, then they don't know what to do. With, it, with any of the options and it seems like so much learning that they would have to invest time just to figure out how to play the game that it turns them off immediately so uh, I for you know after learning about that I sort of reduce some of the items that you can get in the dungeons of driftwood and uh, I'm gonna remove some of the elements like the enfeebling element and the enhancing element I'm gonna narrow it down a little bit more I think I I don't want to overload, the, you know, the player base with, uh, and I don't want them to get analysis overload and be turned off by the game. So I'm going to basically simplify the game a little bit, but still keep it complex, engaging, and, and whatnot. That's really simple. Consumable. Okay, so that's fine. Let's do one item that's going to restore... Uh, a fallen party member. We can make this like a feather. I like that idea. 
we'll call this um, a phoenix down <laughs> that's original As for pricing, we're going to go through all the items and uh, determine pricing uh, later on when we've set up how much uh, money is being awarded. So we're not going to worry about that right now. But I also want to add some animations, some custom animations. Let's look at our animations. Because the game has to look good, right? You don't want to just use the item. The effect happens, but nothing else happens. We could add more, but... Uh, like I could import a lot of the ones I've made, but let's just go ahead and add some custom ones. This will be our divider. <clears throat> Alright, let's see what this looks like. Okay, let's take this, paste it here, change the gun effect. To what if we make this explosion look kind of like that? Wait, wings? I like that. It's a feather item, so that's beautiful. Let's go with that. Let's change the sound effect. Oh, that'll work. Let's flash the target too. Not that bright though. Perfect. We're gonna call this Awakening Feather. Okay. And we'll go to items and award that animation or allocate or assign perfect TP potion let's do the same thing let's just pick a random thing <laughs> make an animation that's just the, the most obscure animation never would have known that it came from that perfect let's see what we could do with this Paste that, let's change this, let's go like that, I like it, let's uh, make it green, <clears throat> cool, let's get rid of the crossbow sound effect, no, 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 Actually, don't need all of this in there. Let's reduce that a bit, huh? Yeah, something like that. Let's change the, the wind. Isn't a bad thing, like, actually. Yeah, that sounds about right. Cool. Except we're gonna set this to. Yeah, I guess center's fine. Uh, what is this last frame? Cool. So let's rename this to TP Potion. Back to our items. Put our animation for TP Potion. Alright, let's do a couple more real quick. That actually looks good how it is, but let's just customize it a little bit. Let's change cure two or cure three to cure two. Change the color a little bit.
that's good let's keep that the same except bring down the green uh, I like a little more intensity on that and on this one that'll be fine yeah I like that wait is that kind of like a yellow yeah let's go like this call this one HP potion I think I called it health potion guess it doesn't really matter <clears throat> change the animation to that and let's do one more real quick um, let's find a different one Wait, let's go ahead and... I don't want to use that one, because they're sort of like... Used for... Uh... That's pretty good, actually. But with the feathers, I'm thinking that's probably going to be... Uh, more for like a, uh, a revive effect. Let me change that. Yeah, that's kind of cool. Let's change, yeah, feet is good because it's already high, so we should bring that down by targeting at the feet. Bring the colors to make it more look more blue, a little more intensity. Cool. Actually, we can cut some of these frames. Let's just cut a few frames at the end here. Clip it when it's yeah right there. Yeah, I don't want to have to cut all those. We'll go with that. We'll call this one MP Potion. Alright. Assign that animation. MP Potion. Alright, simple. Now we've got rid of those four, um, you know, built in items and we've customized them. Different icons, different names. We've got different animations for all those. Okay, so that's going to do it for this quick little uh, update on Farina. I'll be doing several quick videos uh, on this. It was 18 minutes, oh my god. Okay, thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy this sort of content, looking at another project, or if you have a project you uh, need help with, you want me to take a look at it, or you want to do like a Skype slash team viewer thing, let me know in the comments below. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, remember to give it a thumbs up if you did enjoy this. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. I really appreciate it if you do that. And we'll see you in the next video.